All right, we're here at Clementon Park, and you know what? They had me at Whack-A-Mole. Hey everybody, this is Paul, 125 Roller Coaster Challenge here at Clementon Park, and today's challenge is simple. We're gonna show you all the games that we have available here at Clementon Park for you to enjoy. So uh, there's a lot of different areas there. There's a lot of different games and different parts and stuff. So this video is gonna show you all the places you can go and play for the day. All right, so as soon as you get into Clementon Park here, they got yourself uh, pretty much, the games are right in front. Now I have some other ones sp uh, spattered throughout here, but uh, these are the main section of the games. Pretty much you got a midway as you walk through. So the first one you see right here is the Goblet Toss. And uh, this one actually has Mario characters here. And this is pretty simple. You're going to get balls and you're going to toss them in there. As you hit the red and the blue, you get different points and you get different prizes and stuff like that. Uh, you always want to go with the choice. That is actually one of the biggest choices I've seen in a while here. you got some Pokemon right here. So you got Pokemon prizes. You've got, uh, looks like lemurs. And then, of course, you got Mario. So that is for the Goblet Toss. And right next door, oh, actually right here, you get $3 for three balls or a bucket. How many are in a bucket? 15 for 10 bucks so and then here you go blue wins small red wins large yellow wins choice no trade-ups all right people and the next one they got here is actually darts now real quick question do you guys actually have dart darts or do you guys actually have the uh you got legitimate darts here so some places now they actually do not have legitimate darts this one they actually give you a weapon to hit and uh, by the way that uh green one in the middle there if you miss that you should not be playing with darts that is the easiest thing i've ever seen now here you actually win Crayola Bears, which I don't think I've ever seen. Uh, they got purple ones up there, and they got orange and all that. Let us know what color you like in the comments. They actually got Crayolas up top, so this is definitely sponsored by Crayola. Now this one, the balloon tar, uh, toss, you get $4, you get one dart. $6, you get two darts. And then $6 for one dart uh, for little kids. So I guess uh, that's a little bit more challenging. But one pop balloon gives you a small prize, which will probably be those little weird looking uh crows up there they play $6. until they win so six dollars you're guaranteed a win and of course you get a small one there you pop two you get a medium pop three you get large uh multiplay pops can be done consecutively to count so pretty much you want to stay here and you want to win what you want to win but important thing right here kids win no matter what so those are the first two games you're going to see as soon as you come in right by the ring of fire all right so we're here actually on memorial day weekend and some of the rides aren't going yet and uh, this is a Let's Play, so why do we care if the rides aren't going? Well, right here's our arcade, and the arcade is actually closed today, but we were here last year, and they have a lot of vintage games here, and uh, you can win tickets to win prizes and stuff, but uh, here it's not a large arcade, but it's definitely right across from the carousel, and uh, you definitely want to make sure you check it out if you like arcade games. But like I said, they got a lot of classic games there. I remember seeing The Simpsons and a few like that, but this is where the arcade is. It's not open today, uh, but it will be open throughout the year uh, once the season really kicks off. All right, so we're about halfway done with the uh, Let's Play at Clementon Park here, and you know, they got limited games here, but they do have games, and I felt like we definitely needed to show people the different options you have for games here, and all of them are pretty much right around the big train, so. Uh, if you like the video so far, make sure you like and subscribe, and let's go on and show you some more games here at Clementon Park. All right, so we're right here in the heart of Clementon Park here, right by the carousel, and they have games everywhere, and right here they actually have a nice little basketball game. Uh, one in wins, of course, and of course you got a small choice to begin, but you got some interesting prizes here, and that's what this is all about, the prizes. Uh, a lot of different games there. Uh, what is that, the Hornets? Uh, the Hornet colors there, and a lot of different generic ones there. Yep, long range where we're we going to be hitting every stand. So, But here it's basically, how much is it to play? $1? No, I think it's $6. How, how much is it? $6, how many do you get? Three balls? We're two, three or two. You get three or two. All right, great. But just like here, you get one in and you win. So uh, if you like basketball or if you're good at basketball, come on back here by the carousel. All right, so we were about to end with a barn door, but I actually talked to Trayvon, who is actually one of the supervisors, and they actually uh, opened up the doors to the arcade so we can actually show you everything that's in this arcade that you can play games for. So right here is Dead Heat, which is a nice little racing game here. And these are the super bikes. Uh, these are also fantastic. And he's actually turning stuff on for us too. And then Terminator Salvation. So all these games are going on right now. 
Some of them are actually talking to us right now. And back here, you got hoop fever. But here's what I suggest. If you are into basketball, they've got short basketball and long basketball here. And you can win a lot of good prizes on that end. Now, back over here, they actually have an air hockey table. So if you want to play with your friends and enjoy some air hockey, they got that. And this is probably the biggest attraction that they have here in this arcade is the uh, Dead Storms Pirates. Now, these are uh, a lot of fun. These are always VR and all that, and you're basically steering the ship out of trouble. Now, when you come over this way here, you got Prize Out, which is kind of those games where you win the tickets. Now, here you win tickets, right? And where would you cash in the tickets? Oh, there's a machine right there? All right, so what you would do is you win tickets here. Here's another one here. You got Giant Jenga. You've got The Mandalorian, the only Yoda that people care about there. Grogu, I think, I never saw the show. And here, if you ever wanted to see Cage Smurfs, if you like Smurfs, but you like them confined, you can free your own Smurf. Uh, they got numerous ones. The one with glasses is Brainy, Papa Smurf, and Smurf Ed, who actually got the entire population. Over here is Mad Wave Motion Theater. You got Batman, and of course you also got photo booths and things like that. This Batman looks pretty good there. But what you want to do is you actually come here, you buy a game card, and you can load it up, or you can unload it. Basically, all the stuff you need is right there. So they were gracious enough here at Clementon Park to open up the arcade so you can see what they have for you for 2024. All right, so earlier in the video, we showed you the goblet toss and the balloons, but you know what? When you go by the new taco stand, this is where you want to go. These are four right here on the midway uh, with the games. And right here is Kitty Striker. So Kitty Striker is very small, very petite, but I kind of like it with the clown theme. So this one, you actually get a winner every time. You get $3 for three hits, uh, and you get a small prize. $5 for three hits, you get a large prize and no trade-up. So you're going to win something every time. And here's examples of the small prizes here. Nice little stuffed animals. The ducks are cute. And the large prizes are fun little balloon uh, balls. Uh, then you also got large ones with the mallet with money on it there. So that is the um, kitty striker. Now over here, this is the long shot. Long shot here, you actually get one in to win. Now this is a tougher game, but right here you gotta stay behind the line and you can win right there. You got all different types of basketballs. You've got Penn State, you got um, all that kind of stuff here. You actually got the Bulls. And then over here is one of my favorite personal ones here, which is the Whack-A-Mole. So the Whack-A-Mole basically, you um, right here, winner receives a small, two trade-ups, small for a large, and then three smalls give you a choice. And what you gotta do is you gotta kind of race your friends. Uh, what I like here is you got pineapples there, and of course people, of course, you got avocados. You always get avocados at these places, but you also got tacos. So you got avocados, tacos, and that. And then of course you got some more Mario characters here. These are larges, and smalls are, you know, Toad and those guys. So that is the whack-a-mole. And then over here you've got yourself the uh, tub toss. Now this one's always been a challenge for me. Uh, but over here, what I kind of like is funny is you got Reese's Pieces there, and as a Hershey guy, that's where you go. But one choice prize per player per day. So the tub toss, $2 gets you a ball, 5 gets you 4 The ball must not be removed from the tub. So it's on that angle, so you got to make sure you get yourself a good toss so it goes right in there. But um, like I said, uh, the Jolly Ranchers are kind of cool here. It kind of feels like home with Jolly Ranchers and uh, nerds, uh, Reese's Pieces. There's Hershey bars right there, too. But the choice ones are huge. Uh, you got dinosaurs, pandas, giraffes, elephants, oh my. So, and then I want to come over here real quick because uh, he actually had a customer. So, how much is it to toss a ball? Oh, it's uh, $5 for a shot right here, $10 for a shot there. Oh, so there's a line right there. So, that's a $10 shot there. And one in wins. So, and they all seem to be big prizes here. Uh, you got the basketballs, uh, Steelers, eh, Kansas City, eh, Dallas, hell no. What else we got there? Eagles, I found Eagles. All right, so you can't actually win the Eagles. All right. More than that. Sixers right there. You've got uh, even the Patriots. So it seems like they got a lot. If you're looking for a Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I don't think we're going to find it here. But uh, you do get giant flamingos. So this is probably the biggest game they have here at Clementon Park. And it's right on the main midway. So definitely make sure when you're walking down the midway, drop a couple bucks here and uh, support the park. All right. So there you go. We are done with Let's Play at Clementon Park. Now, it's not one of our bigger uh, videos here, but I felt like we definitely needed to show everybody uh, the different options they have here for uh, carnival games. So what was your favorite game there? Did you have a favorite? And have you been to Clementon Park? What's your think uh, thoughts on this uh, New Jersey park that has been reborn three years ago? Let us know in the comment section and thank you for watching.